Welcome back, Cocoholics. Foul Mal Fishing, another, well, this is actually a prequel. So, uh, in the last video I mentioned, I'm a little backed up with my MTB boxes. So, I did June and July's, and now I'm going to hit you with April and May of 2022. stick around for the uh, another part of what I'm giving away in our Christmas in July uh, giveaway. So in the last one I exposed that we've giving that we're going to give you a or one lucky person a 1-3 uh, a, uh, Fishings Blackout Spinning Reel and uh, uh, amongst some other things and uh, we're going to crack into these and somewhere in here you're gonna find out uh, what else I might be giving away. It's kinda obvious but nevertheless so let's start with April, and then we'll do May. Again, not open. <laughs> it's been hell actually not having these open and looking through them. So these are as much a surprise for me as they are for you. Uh, let's see what we got here. At the bottom this time. We're lucky the last boxes. So, oh, oh, oh. all right. So at the very bottom, we've got our uh, little card. We've got the... MTB Hat Guys Headbangers Spitfire. So that's a new lore. Headbanger lures. Spitfire. Okay, we'll see what that's about. Dibble Digest with a couple clownfish on there. Clowning around. And our sticker. A uh, little spacey alien bringing in a nice size fish. So that's pretty cool. All right, and our card. In this one, we have two, four, six, eight, nine. Again, lucky numbers all the time. So another nine-item list from MTB. Starting right off the top with that little uh, hinting card, from Headbanger, we have what they're calling the Spitfire. Headbanger Lures Spitfire. All right, $14.99. So we have our segmented... Little jerk bait with the headbanger lures style head. So if you know headbanger lures, they have that wobble head, um, that self-articulating cupped uh, head on the front, which makes their their headbanger lures uh, jigs kind of unique. Well, they've basically just attached that to a jointed swim bait, hard swim bait kind of thing. I don't have a clue how this is going to function. I have a feeling this is another take on connecting a bladed jig to a swim bait for whatever reason. But to each their own. Uh, this is a way bit more gimmicky to me than I think it needs to be. Uh, as always, around this time of year with iCast and everything, you're going to start seeing... I mean, this is kind of passe that it's in April... Uh, box, but you're going to see a lot of these kind of oddball, harebrained ideas for uh, for baits and lures um, to kind of catch on proprietary items, proprietary ideas, and then at the same time, it's just not exactly logical, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Uh, I'm going to try to bust through these as fast as possible so it don't take too much time. But that just gimmicky. Uh, all right, so fourteen ninety nine. It's uh, three fifths of an ounce, and it is a four and a half inch floating bait. Gimmicky as it is. For seven ninety nine, Team Arc Square Bill Crank Bait CT thirty five. Team Arc, we got a nice chartreuse CT three dash five Square Bill Crank Bait. Not bad. Uh, this one. Has a magnetic uh, casting. Yeah, it's got it's got a magnetic casting assist inside. So you got two BBs inside with a magnet, so it'll slam back for your cast and return back front to weight it nose down. Uh, this is a two and an eighth inch, three eighths ounce, dives three to five feet. Not bad. 
I like that. $7.99. For $7.50, Razor Custom Tackles Prop Knocker. Razor Custom Tackle Prop Knocker. So we've got ourselves a buzz bait. Buzz bait. They call it the prop knocker. I'm sure it's because the buzz will knock off of the flat head, chartreuse and white. You know, nothing special there. Everybody wants a squeaky knocking buzz bait. That's cool. Uh, next up, $5.79 for Mullocks GT Football. GT Football Head. Uh, this is Golden Team Series, Carl Jock. Jacobson? Jacob? Jacobson? Sorry, not a big, uh, not a fan of you. Don't, don't exactly know you. Four odd hook. It's a three eighths ounce, uh, you know, basically a football head jig. So that's pretty cool. Like the color. Green pumpkin, a little blue in there, or purple, I should say. Not bad. All right. So that's cool. And again, that was uh, five seventy nine. For five seventy nine as well. Beast Coast Fishing's Working Man Swim Jig. So we've got another Beast Coast Fishing's Working Man Swim Jig. Nice full size. I like that. In that crawfish pattern. Great for July. Well, a little earlier on the season. July is starting to get heated up. Uh, but it does have a little bit of that brown hue in the bottom as well. So that's a great crawfish imitator for a jig with those big, big eyes. Uh, I like that a lot. Next up. Aaron's Bait Dragon Tail for $5.49. So from $5.79 to $5.49. These are Dragon Tail 4 inch little worms. That's pretty cool. They've got like the French fry. If you know old baits, this is definitely an open pour because you got your flat side here and your port end there. But you got your French fry style ribbing. It's got a little. Uh, Spade tail on the back, which is cool. Very meaty, good color. Not a trend, uh, not a ridiculous scent. Made in the USA, that's a good, uh, a good plus. I like that. Four inches, that's useful. I like that. And again, very good price, five forty nine. And you'll see, you get two, four, six, six or eight in here. Three, six, nine. You get nine in here. That's that's pretty good. Nine pack. All right, cool. Uh, Z-Man, the Z-Man Goat. So we got the goats. I'm still looking for the Billy Goat, the bigger version of the goat. These are watermelon red, 3.75 inch four pack. And of course, Z-Man, $4.99 for the four pack. Very expensive at a dollar each, a little over a dollar each actually. Um, but they last forever, you know. You're going you're gonna to break off before the bait breaks up. So that's a pretty good thing. Uh, Lake Forks Trophy Lures Hyper Freak. Lake Forks Hyper Freak. So we have a beaver tail bug bait. So that's pretty cool. Got a big, giant beaver tail. Watermelon sprayed grass color uh, with that blue and purple. Definite garlic scent coming off of this guy. Lures with an attitude. Garlic and salt impregnated. That is awesome. All right, uh, they suggest a whole bunch of different rigging options. Some of these are, again, three and a half inch watermelon candy red flake, and they're, they're suggesting wacky rig. I wouldn't wacky rig this. It's a beaver bait. Um, but they have Carolina rig, weightless, Texas, of course. Uh, finesse with a shaky head or drop shot. Those are all viable options, but again, packaging that they can throw anything into and just print out the different name of the bait on the back. You know, saves money in the long run. That's marketing. Those are $4.55. And finally, for $2.90, uh, speaking from the last episode, talking about hooks, a hook company that I actually do like from uh, Spearpoint. We have some 3 aught Spearpoint EWGs. Uh, these are their performance Spearpoint hooks. $2.90, and you get three of them in the pack. So that's good. Uh, some of my better fish catches have been on Spearpoints. They just... For me, when I'm Texas rigging, Carolina rigging, weightless, they just seem to pin the fish's jaw way better than many, many EWGs that I've had uh, past and present. So I like that company for those. Now, if I'm doing, um, you know, a nosed hook wacky rig or, or, uh, or drop shot, 
I don't really go with spirit points. I go with other manufacturers. Uh, but that's that. All right. That was April. Now we're into May. Okay. So for May, we've got to find our cards. Oh, on the bottom again. Oh, there's the Dibble Digest. Dibble Digest with the bingo on the back. So that's pretty cool. What do we got for a sticker in here today? Of yesterday. We've got our card. We've got, ah, okay. A little Roman soldier sticker there from Catchco. That's pretty okay. And we've got the feature is the tataki frog. So we're going to, oh, I see right on top here, we're going to have tataki frog in here, which is nice. And that is definitely good for this hot water, water time. Uh, two, four, six, eight in this package. So we broke from our nine lucky number. This one's only got eight lures. And we start off with Freedom Tackles Mischief Minnow for $13.99. Freedom Tackles Mischief Minnow. So it's a jerk bait. It's got, oh, okay. It's a bladed jerk bait. So we've got ourselves one of my favorite colors. Well, I like silver and blue. As a color scheme, I like silver and clear, which is this one, silver and chrome. Um, so we've got, i got to be careful because there's an extra, or they have a split hook, a split ring in here, excuse me. So they've got a snap connector for you to connect to your line tie to increase your, your movement. I know that there's a YouTuber that swears that if you put a, if you don't tie directly to your bait, you're destroying the bait. It's not exactly the truth. Uh, sometimes adding the mobility of a split ring, um, or in this case a snap, is uh, just amazing. It adds a little bit more freedom of movement in that nose end. Uh, it also, uh, adding a, uh, a, a uh, swivel on the end will get rid of your line twist on a lot of baits, especially things like uh, you know buzz baits, spinner baits, etc. Uh, but this is interesting. So you got a little jerk bait with, instead of having three trebles, you have a treble in the front, a smaller treble in the back, and this uh, blade in the middle to add flash. Now, me, I wouldn't have a blade in the middle because, especially one of this length, it's on a swivel, but even drafting backwards, I just see this thing getting caught in, <laughs> in the hook on the cast. Uh, Maybe it'll be fine. I don't know. It'll be interesting to try it out. We'll see what it does. But that is, uh, that's a different take on, um, you know, on a bladed bait. A lot of times you have the blades on the tail end or a feather treble with a blade, which is what I typically like to do is like to have a feather treble or a feather treble and a blade coming out the middle of the treble blade, uh, treble uh, hook. But uh, this is a little different. For $13.99, it darn sure uh, better work for Freedom Tackle. But, uh, you know, only time will tell. So we'll see how that pans out. Uh, next up, 10,000 Fishes, the Tataki Frog, which was our featured card. Uh, I think I even have this color. This is the Rising Sun. It's the black Tataki Frog. I just go with the basic colors, black, white, chartreuse, green. I'm um, looking at the belly, not at the back, not the sides, unless it's a very well-keeled uh, frog, where when you come off of pads or grass, it's going to roll over and you can get some of that side color flash. Then I'm going for like a white side, silver side, or chartreuse side uh, with you know whatever solid color belly so uh, this one is got the red on the side which might also help to attract I'm not sure it's a really cool Sun uh, color the rising Sun basically the Japanese flag pretty cool or is it China no, whatever. no rising Sun Japan all right there's that um, catch go outdoors or catch excuse me catch outdoors the mock K now that was 1099 for the tataki frog the Mach K, $9.99. Catch Outdoors. Catch Outdoors. Mm -hmm. This is not you. Mach K, Popper. Okay. So a Popper 70 size, 2.5 inch, weighs uh, 0.35 ounces, so a third of an ounce, a little over. And it's a really cool bone black with the skeleton kind of pattern, red cup mouth. That's nice. And it's definitely got rattles in it. So that's that's really cool. All right, so we got ourselves a popper. Again, top water, great to have top water beats. 
water temperatures around me are in the 90s. So, you know, there you go. That one's the Mach K999. Next, from Reaction Strike, the XRM for $8.99. I saw this. So this is a little crank jerk bait, lipped diving bait right there. Nice minnow pattern. It's got a little hue of pink. It could even play off as like a trout, a little rainbow trout or something like that. Um, so this one is the XRM80MD. XRM80MD. It is 3.2 inches long. It is two-thirds of an ounce, and it dives five to eight feet. So that's pretty good. All right, I like that. That's good, especially when you want to go a little deeper and get down in the cooler water. Uh, next up, for $4.99, so $4 cheaper than that, we have from Lucky John, the Jocko Shaker. Lucky John's Jocko Shaker. So these are Japanese-inspired uh Krill scent, so basically smells like a uh, rotting crayfish. Floating soft plastic in three and a half inches. That's pretty cool. So these are just little paddle baits uh, in the kind of a reddish brown color. Mm, soft plastic. I like that. That's useful. That that to me, that's more of a good chatterbait uh, trailer or a spinnerbait trailer. I like that. Dark color adds body and shape. Um, got a little scent to it, and uh, not bad, not bad. So, be interested to see how that works out. Uh, for four ninety nine as well, Bass Reaper Bait Company's Icicle. Bass Reaper, that would be this one with the cool skull on it. So we have a drop shot Icicle. This is another small drop shot nose hooking style worm. All right, with that sickle style tail on the end. It's two color pour. I like that. It's got a green pumpkin on one side and a brown on the other. So you get a little flare of color there. That's pretty darn awesome. Not really, a little bit of anisette. Just a hue, just a hint of the anise licorice smell. Um, ten pack. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Ten pack for five bucks, fifty cents a piece. I like that. I like that. Um, Next up, or next to last, we have Phoenix Baits Elite Series Arky Jig. So we got another jig head uh, from Phoenix. This is PB&J color. You got your grape jelly and your brown right there. Not bad. And this one is a 3 8 ounce. Again, this would be great also with those uh, paddle tails or with those Bass Reaper uh, worms. So that's pretty cool. You can fish the worms Weightless on a small hook, nose hooked on a drop, you know, drop shot, or thrown on here to bottom fish them. Again, that's a good thing about Catchco and, and Mystery Tackle Box. They try to give you multiple ways to fish what's in the box and definitely give you an opportunity to take one of these boxes sight unseen, out on the water, open up for the first time, and have a day on the lake. That, and finally, for $2.10, a couple of hooks. So again, speaking to those worms, or those, uh, those, uh, the Bass Reaper Bait Company Icicles, or the Lucky John uh, Yoko Shakers. Uh, we got some three-aught, three-pack of Stickies hooks. Stickies are great, you know. Can't say anything bad things about them. It's a really good uh, wire setup and a really good sharp hook, even for a, uh, you know, proprietary mystery tackle box brand. Uh, so, what do you think about the lures that were in these two boxes? Uh, April and May's. I did June and July's before. This is April and May. Uh, you give me down in the descriptions. Are any of these things like catch your eye? Or is there any things that you would totally grab and fish? Um, with that, the next reveal is one of these. So I'm going to be giving away to go with the uh, the 13 Fishings Blackout 1.0 uh, series spinning reel. I'm going to give you a 13 Fishings Blackout Spinning Rod to go with that, uh, along with a few baits and some other little things that will be thrown in as little surprises uh, for the winner. Um, I will be running this contest throughout July, because it's the end of July now anyway, into uh, my entire tournament time, which, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> August, all of August is going to be this MTV tournament. So we'll see what happens. Uh, along the way, I will be asking a few questions, and then I will pick the winner from those questions 
uh, to go at it and randomly pick those winners in a pool. And one person from all of those questions answered correctly will then get the prize. So you're going to get a rod, you're going to get a reel, you're going to get some baits, you're going to get some other goodies. Uh, ask anybody in the comments below who won a prize, tell them what you think. Do I give good prizes or do I give crap? I can take it, be honest. All I care is you be honest. Um, that all said, I hope you had a great season. I hope you have a great and fruitful season uh, as it remains coming into the colder weather around the corner, which I'm hoping it cools down a little bit into fall because this heat is just ridiculous. <laughs> um, as always, for me to you, uh, tight lines, and I will catch you on the next cast. Peace, Alcoholics.